Hey, welcome to Binge Bar. Today we're going to be talking about the history and milestones of the MLS former franchise, Chivas USA. This is part of a series where we go over everything you need to know about a topic in five minutes or less. So let's begin. Club Deportivo Chivas USA was an American professional soccer club based in Carson, California, part of the Los Angeles metropolitan area. The club started playing in 2005 and was secondary to Mexican club Guadalajara. Sharing common ownership, Mexican businessman Jorge Vergara owned both teams and tried to make Chivas an international brand. Chivas USA was the 11th MLS team upon entry into the league in 2004 and the 13th club ever to join the MLS. Chivas USA played in Dignity Health Sports Park, which is now known as the StubHub Center. They shared the stadium with their rivals, the more successful LA club, the LA Galaxy. In 2005, Chivas USA started off the season 1-8-1, and, and halfway through the season, they fired their head coach, Thomas Rongen. Needless to say, they did not make the playoffs in their inaugural campaign. On November 23, 2005, former MLS Coach of the Year Bob Riley became the club's third head coach, which was a breath of fresh air for the club's fans after their dismal first season. In the 2006 season, the team made the Western Conference playoffs with a record of 10-9-13, naming Bob Bradley to a second MLS Coach of the Year honor. After the season, Bob Bradley was named interim head coach of the U.S. men's national team, and Pedrag Preki Radosavlik took over. 2007 proved to be the franchise's best season, boasting a record of 15-7-8 and, and placing first in the Western Conference. Brad Guzan was named MLS Goalkeeper of the Year, and Preki was named MLS Coach of the Year. Despite their accolades, Chivas USA lost to the Kansas City Wizards in the conference semifinals of the 2007 MLS Cup. In 2008, Chivas USA clinched a third consecutive berth in the MLS playoffs. They also got to see Jonathan Bernstein and Sasha Kleschen make the MLS All-Star team. Sasha Kleschen was also selected as U.S. Soccer's Young Male Player of the Year and scored the U.S. Soccer Goal of the Year while playing in the 2008 Beijing Olympics. Another promising season ended, though, with a loss to their fellow expansion team, Real Salt Lake, in the first round of the playoffs. The trend continued in 2009, as the Red and White made the playoffs for a fourth consecutive season. The playoff run lasted shortly, as they fell to their cross-town rivals, the LA Galaxy, 3-2 on aggregate. The only redeemable element of that season was Zach Thornton's appointment to the MLS All-Star team and his outstanding achievement of becoming the MLS Goaltender of the Year. 2009 was the last time Chivas USA would ever see the playoffs, as the 2010 season signaled the beginning of the end for their franchise. After the 2010 World Cup, Kleschen signed a deal with the Belgian Giants Anderlecht, which was a major blow to Chivas USA, losing one of their co-captains. After their disastrous 2010 season, the club released head coach Martin Vasquez, not too long after President and CEO Sean Hunter announced he was stepping down on November 2, 2010. On January 4, 2011, Stephen Hamilton, Vice President of Soccer Operations, revealed he was also stepping down. 2011 was another failure for Chivas USA, finishing the season with 36 points, second to last in the Western Conference. 2012 was the tipping point for the franchise. Brigara and his wife became sole owners on August 29, 2012. Not even a year later, on May 29, 2013, two Chivas USA youth coaches, Dan Kausman and Ted Chronopoulos, filed a discrimination lawsuit against the club, on the grounds that they were being dismissed because they were not Latino. Figueroa allegedly told his staff that those who did not speak Spanish would be fired. On February 20th, 2014, Major League Soccer purchased Chivas USA from Vergara and announced plans to sell to a buyer dedicated to keeping the club in LA. In September of 2014, ESPN reported that the club would suspend operations at the end of the MLS regular season, which would officially be the end to Chivas USA. Chivas USA ceased operations on October 21st, 2014, and the dispersal draft took place after the 2014 season. This wasn't the end to a second LA team, though. As LAFC began playing 2018, LAFC are not considered a continuation of Chivas USA, as no buyer bought the club. Now time for some top 5 Chivas facts. The club badge is virtually identical to that of their parent club. In 2011, Corona became the presenting sponsor for the club. The franchise had an historic 11 coaches in their brief existence. Ante Razov is the top goal scorer for the club, boasting a mere 30 goals. The average attendance for the last season was 7,063, one third that of the LA Galaxy. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more content. Thank you, we'll see you next time. LAFC is basically just Chivas USA, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>